I'm Dr. Rajit Goyal. I work for the International AIDS Vaccine Initiative. I'm the country director here in India, and the office is based out of New Delhi. Well, HIV tends to remain a big global problem. I think since 1981, even till today, uh, 40 million people around the world are yet living with HIV. And if you see about 2 million people are getting newly infected every year. What is very, you know, very alarming is that since it was first diagnosed in 81, about 40.2 million people have died of this disease. Uh, and India, uh, among I think in about 80% of uh, the, the people living with HIV, live with, with HIV live in 20 countries. And India continues to remain, I think, the third largest country of people living with HIV. Uh, yet we have about 2 million, 2.1 million people living with HIV and a surprising 70,000 people are yet getting newly infected. Um, so since 1986, although uh, you know that's the time when this disease was diagnosed for the first time in India, uh, a lot of efforts have been made, uh, but a lot more needs to be done. Um, like I mentioned, the program being so effective, we have some great antiretrovirals which have been introduced. Our counseling, our awareness, our outreach to the population has been tremendous. Uh, but despite that, I think uh, the primary issues have been uh, with regard to the accessibility and uptake of several of these uh, antiretrovirals um, and a growing incidence of uh, adherence of to sticking to the drugs and I think that's that's a big issue that India is facing uh, not only in India but I think it's it's worldwide um, and uh, they're very slow very subtle uh, hints or signals that are coming in that people are getting resistant to the drugs and I think so all this warrants the fact that we need new antiretrovirals we need better combinations we need to look for them more uh, and we need good prevention and treatment modalities available for us to finally bring an end to this dreaded disease. So like I just mentioned, uh, both in the treatment space and in the prevention space, uh, we need solutions. Uh, and these solutions, uh, like I said, you know, we have first line treatment, we have second line, we even have tertiary. All these drugs come with, a, with side effects. Today we are looking at long-acting antiretrovirals as a possible area of emergence just to be able to ensure compliance and adherence uh, to treatment. So we do need better ways of ensuring that uh, the treatment is uh, not only accessed but is also adhered to. We may need some better combinations uh, because we are, sh we are seeing a pattern emerging that uh, this virus, which we all know is such a slippery virus, which keeps changing time and again. Um, so maybe we just need to look at better formulations and better drugs or newer drugs, uh, which uh, possibly uh, will not allow the virus to evade them. And in addition, uh, we definitely need better prevention mod modalities. When prevention, I say it's not only counseling and awareness and testing. I mean, uh, recently, uh, the government of India has taken a revolutionary step, not only by passing the HIV AIDS bill, but also via the bill, uh, introducing this, at least in the high risk population, this test and treat. And I think that's a great, great step that has been taken, uh, because the earlier you access these people and you start treating them, the lesser chances of spreading the disease amongst the general population arises. In addition, there are opportunities like the pre-exposure prophylaxis. I know that uh, opportunities like this have been undertaken by other countries around the world. Uh, maybe India uh, would be looking at it soon. In addition, we need some good biomedical tools of prevention, um, especially where the decision uh, is dependent upon the individual themselves. We know that a lot of women and children yet suffer from the disease, close to 50% of that, and I think we need to empower them. Uh, so vaccine remains a great tool. Uh, a good, effective, preventative vaccine will always be the best option, as we have seen this in several other infectious diseases. Um, and now, with, with the studies that have happened and the opportunities that we've happened, uh, we are able to understand, you know, the disease much better, especially the virus, how it behaves with the human system. 
Um, and so therefore there's a new avatar of monoclonal antibodies uh, which are emerging and if we are able to make these effective monoclonal antibodies I'm pretty sure that either being given passively as an immune therapeutic agent or along with antiretrovirals or as agents alone this could help influence and curb the progression of this disease. Well, I have always believed, I think, and I will just quote one book that I have always been influenced by, and that is Dr. Prahlad's book and C.K. Prahlad's book, and it's always mentioned about, uh, in you know, the base of the pyramid as being the pivotal strength of any nation. Uh, and, and I think that our base of the pyramid, uh, uh, which is our biggest strength, is our population. Um, and this, the study of our population, I think, like I, I just mentioned, our biggest contribution to discovery and development of newer tools for helping uh, prevent this disease and also other diseases which are similar to that or which will help us in, in tackling diseases which may not be similar to this is when we are able to understand the disease itself and how the human body reacts to this disease, especially when it is transmitted. So a better understanding of the disease by studying our population, by studying the immunology of the population. Uh, identifying signatures which will help us in predicting which population will respond to which kind of treatment or predictors of um, you know whether they're going to be resistant to a treatment or be, uh, be able to give us highlights on how the disease can progress with all these signatures being in place. Um, I think that's, that's a great contribution that India will make. Um, because we can study this, there's a uniqueness of the clade with which India is, uh, in, you know, with a lot of patients in India are infected, very akin to uh, some of the regions in Africa. Um, so better working with Africa is going to be very helpful. And once we have this ability, uh, when we have this ability of studying our population and contributing to the global knowledge, this will influence and significantly impact uh, the way products can be discovered because any product has to be globally effective so we can actually tell the world uh, what will be effective in our region and in the regions which are affected by uh, the similar strain of the virus and if there are products being developed anywhere else in the world at least then we will also be an effective contributor to the predictive to the prediction on how these products will work in the Indian population and similar population around the world which is affected by the similar strain of, of the virus. So anything that has to happen, you know, uh, people, people cannot necessarily make region specific products. I mean, they have to be globally effective products. And so this kind of an information that India can provide will help the world make in global effective products. So realizing this uh, International AIDS Vaccine Initiative, which is founded in 1996, uh, took up this mandate. Uh, we have been working under, uh, uh, you know, we, we acquire funds from, uh, from around the world. Our leading funders are uh, not only the U.S. Uh, Agency for International Development, which has been a great contributor of our work around the world, especially in India and in Africa. Uh, the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, uh, the Dutch government, uh, and several other governments around the world, um, they have believed in the contribution that IRV can provide. And IRV essentially uh, is a partnership organization. We, there's way we are, our mandate is to uh, ensure the introduction of a safe and effective vaccine uh, in the world for HIV, especially in the countries where the disease is, is very rampant. Um, so for this, we bring the best of the best as we perceive and as our partners perceive around the world uh, towards effective research and development, uh, not only towards uh, making a better vaccine or making a vaccine happen, but also towards other biomedical tools of prevention. So we are headquartered in New York. Uh, we, are, we have offices in Kenya, in Netherlands, and here one in New Delhi. Uh, 